What's up everybody? It's April Justine with Bloods by Design and today I'm going to show you how to give a snake an injection. So first, my vet actually put the solution in this sterile uh, vial. Words. <laughs> mean words. Man. Okay. And they gave me a bunch of sterile needles. So first we're going to get the liquid into the needle, the syringe. All right. So I pull down just to make it easier on me um, and go ahead and take this off, put it in the plastic. All right, make sure you don't jab yourself. Safety first. And I have to do, I gotta see how much I do, 2 point, or 0 0.28, 0 0.28. So let's get that. Boom, all right. I got some bubbles in here so you, you can tap it to make the bubbles go to the top and then push it through and the bubbles will come out. All right, so this is 2.8. All right, and you don't wanna go in and out of this syringe too many times because it dulls this needle. And if you have a dull needle, it's going to hurt your snake more. Um, let me put the cap back on so I don't jab myself. Be very careful when you do that. All right, so the syringes have a beveled edge and what that means is that the needle goes straight and then kind of angles and you want that beveled edge to be up when you're giving your snake the injection that also i am told makes the pain less for the snake now most of the time a vet is going to tell you that you need to do it intramuscular so that means that you are injecting the, the solution into the muscle intra muscle so into the muscle and that's what we're doing Luckily for us, a snake is mostly muscle, so it's very easy to do. You're gonna wanna give the injection on the top two thirds of the body, and that's because the organs that um, uh, metabolize the medication are in the lower one third, and you don't want to surpass that, uh, the organs that metabolize it and help the body, and it'll just, like, it'll just pass out of the body, so we don't wanna do that. We wanna put it in the top two thirds. I know that didn't really make a lot of sense. I'm not too good with explaining myself and using words really well, but uh, I hope you get the point. <laughs> the point is top two thirds is when we're gonna give the injection. So what you're gonna wanna do is notice on your snake, they have the rough scales and in between those scales, they have thin skin. That's a lot of times where mites are gonna go under and that type of thing. That is where you're gonna wanna do the injection. So beveled edge up and you're gonna put the injection in the thinner skin, not through the scale, that's gonna be really hard to do, the thinner skin of the animal. Once you're in, you're gonna pull the syringe up just a little bit to uh, make sure that there's no blood, that you didn't go in a vein. It's not intravenous in a vein, it's intramuscular in a muscle. So we wanna make sure that we're in the muscle and not getting any blood. If you end up pulling back some blood, go ahead and take your needle out and reposition and go in a different location and that way you will not hit a vein and not go into the blood, the heart, the vein. You don't want that. You want muscle, intramuscle. So let me get Clarice out and I will show you exactly how I give this medication. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it on the top two thirds of her body, which is about from here up. And I'll put it in between her scales with the bevel of the syringe upwards. Now you'll also notice I don't hold her down really hard. That I feel scares them more and they move even more. So here I go, pull back a little bit, make sure there's no blood, give the injection. If you rub the injection site, if the animal will let you, that also disperses the medication and makes it less uncomfortable. So that wasn't too bad, right? Pretty good. Now she is a good snake, my vet will tell you differently, but she is a very good snake. Like I mentioned, if you hold them down and really force them not to move, I find that they struggle more. They um, fight back more and it's very hard to give the injection. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get her soaking. This medication is very bad on her kidneys and so she needs to stay dehydrated. So I'm gonna do that. If you have any questions about how to give an injection, please comment below. Get a hold of me somehow and I will try to help you the best that I absolutely can. You can follow me on Bloods by Design on Instagram and on Facebook. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.